The 1929 Chevrolet pulled up to the front of 7964 Greenlee Drive, the five members of the Wilson family seated on the coupe's only seat, Mike as usual straddling the floor-mounted gearshift and hand brake, making for a tight fit even though three of the five were children. The six-year-old boy gazed with amazement looking down at the surroundings, their new hillside home on the corner of Greenlee Drive and Schoen Avenue was almost located in the mountains, well not quite, but compared to the Hull Street projects, the rising hills of East Oakland was almost like a wilderness. Schoen Avenue initiated uphill from Mountain Boulevard intersecting Greenlee Drive four blocks up, culminating when merging with Sterling Drive. Sterling continuing its upward journey at an elevation of 486 feet with Crest Avenue from where you could view city. From Crest one could look across the bounds of Oakland, San Francisco Bay, the Bay Bridge and even see the lights from the Golden Gate Bridge. A narrow switchback allow through traffic to traverse down in the six-block descent on 82nd Avenue to MacArthur Boulevard. Four blocks down from Greenlee Drive on Schoen Avenue was Mountain Boulevard, the two-lane blacktop which snaked along the valley formed by the Sentinel East Oakland Hills, rising to an elevation of 1,200 feet. The Concierge East Oakland Hills watching over the city, a two-lane drive appropriately named Skyline Boulevard atop the summit remained a haven of peace and solitude the landscape still virgin to residential construction. The mountainous distance between Mountain Boulevard and Skyline beheld a series of rising hill and valleys, the terrain once home to horses and cattle with an abundance of spring-fed creeks with an undergrowth of flora and the oak trees native to Oakland. Further north a visual marker, the active Gallagher and Burke Quarry, its prevalence devouring a large chunk out of the hillside. To the south the pinnacle remains of the old San Leandro Mental Hospital and disseminating towards Mountain Boulevard was the expansive Oak Knoll Naval Hospital, caring for 2,500 patients. The largest naval medical facility on the West Coast. Greenlee Drive and the other two neighboring north-south parallel streets, Winthrop and Earl abruptly ended a block and a half after crossing Schoen Avenue and Home Street which bordered the vast fenced acreage of a hay and alfalfa farm. The farm was apparently operated by immigrant farmers, unlike the farmers who baled their harvest, they gathered and stacked it. Mike having seen this means being done in a National Geographic magazine. The opposite direction to the north on Greenlee was what the locals called the Water Works, formerly known as East Bay Municipal Utilities District Water Filtration Plant. It stretched from Keller to Field ST and from Greenlee Drive to Mountain Boulevard, an area of about 12 city blocks. It was fenced and wooded with mostly pines and maintained like a park. For a bristling youngster, this little-known part of Oakland was an exciting place to live. His mom always thought the house was small, but to a six-year-old it was huge in comparison to the apartment in the projects, at least it seemed that way, most likely because of the corner lot large yard with an old leaning wooden garage. The south side of the house having a small living room, dining room with French door opening to the outside with the kitchen having a small adjoining 6x10 addition. Two bedrooms, with a bathroom between on the north giving the upstairs a total area of 700 square feet. Because of steepness of the hill, Although not deemed two-story, it had a downstairs with an outside entrance which was also accessible from the upstairs dining room through an unfinished basement laundry room with a cast-iron double sink. 
Mike was told the downstairs was destined to be a rented as a downstairs apartment having a 9x14 bedroom slash living room, a 9x5 kitchen with sink, gas stove, folding wall table and the household water heater. A door from the kitchen opened to bathroom with a stool and shower which also exited to the laundry room. The family settling in the three children occupying the back bedroom, Mike successfully lobbying for a bunk bed to at least give himself some dissimilarity from bunking in the same room with his sisters. The only complaint jointly shared was that the only heat in the house was from a floor furnace in the living room. On those cold damp morning it wasn't unusual to find his sisters in the living room getting dressed by the floor furnace. After living in the projects, six apartment units to a two-story building, having a spacious yard was unbelievable. It was overgrown with many varieties of plants, not necessarily all weeds, his little sister Nancy who had yet to turn three years of age could totally disappear in the flora and there was even a relic of an old neglected fish pond. These new surroundings gave new life to an impressionable young Mike and cast the foundation for an unlimited realm of future boyhood adventures selected.